Another United Auto Workers Union leader is likely headed to prison. This time it is Tim Edmonds, a local union treasurer who made off with more than $2 million in union money. He pleaded guilty to two counts, originally charged with quite a bit more than that in federal court. Rod Maloney was at federal court this afternoon and joins us now live with more. Rod. Yeah, Devin, you know, for the last couple of years, we've been covering the UAW corruption, a couple of national presence presidents rather behind bars. But for all of those cases, uh, more than a dozen of them there, this one may be bigger and more breathtaking. You may recall Tim Edmonds because of that wide smile. He flashed into Greektown Casino security cameras last year. The feds putting this picture in the original complaint, saying that he frequented the tables there, gambling away stolen union cash. In court today, prosecutors say that he spent $30,000 of dues money at Greektown. They also say he bought expensive cars and trucks, guns, and paid off child support. They say he also spent lavishly at department stores from Louis Vuitton to Target, using cash he'd taken from local 412 by forging checks with the local president's name and getting American Express e-checks using his union ATM and debit card. Here is Edmund's UAW photo. He's smiling here as well, something he didn't do today in court as two federal marshals ushered him in in orange Livingston County jail garb. He's been behind bars for the past two weeks because prosecutors convinced Judge Sean Cox that Edmonds was a flight risk. At today's hearing, Edmonds pleaded guilty to embezzlement in money laundering wearing shackles. After the hearing, Edmonds returned to the Livingston County Jail while awaiting sentencing. That sentencing scheduled for July 27th. He's facing between 46 and 57 months behind bars. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.